when you've accumulated a lot of knowledge, you reach a point where it has capped, like, unless you put that knowledge to use, it just stays in your head, you know? I got to that extent where I consumed a lot, I've read books. Last year, I read 125 books. I would read books, listen to many audio books, like all the time I'm listening to something, writing down something. Then you reach a point where you know a lot of all this information in your head, but you cannot really use it constructively to, to your benefit. You're just accumulating, adding on, adding on, adding on. And for me, I don't really like fiction. I want things which are practical. <laughs> so I basically consume a lot of practical information in terms of podcasts, in terms of books, in terms of blog posts, Substack. Like, that's what I do. So I reached a point where my, my brain is full of so much information. And I'm like, what's the use of me just accumulating it and leaving it in my brain? Either I write about it or I talk about it or I share it in a given way or form. And yeah. that's where I started. I'm like, okay, let me just document what I've learned. Sometimes I go back and listen to the podcast I recorded, like that one I sent you. I went back and listened to it, and I'm like, I'm wise. You know, I know things. Like, I really know things. Not that I'm I'm coming at it from a selfish way, thinking I'm very wise, I can't learn. But I'm like, at least sometimes I also make sense. Like, if I don't get out of, get that out of my head, I won't know that I'm, that's what I'm thinking at that point. Because my podcast episodes are not scripted. I just sit, I'm like, okay, let me talk. When I feel like I'm tired, I'm like, I'm done, guys. I'm done, I'm you know? Yeah, so that's what I've learned. 